in this video i'm gonna be showing you a very very effective and fast automatic bone meal farm for minecraft bedrock 1.19 now this farm is going to give you unlimited bone meal and you don't have to do anything at all it's completely automatic and afk here we're gonna be building the kelp farm which we're gonna then transform into bone meal using the composter now this entire farm is going to be very simple and easy to build so guys the first thing is you want to go ahead and start off by doing a t kind of structure right over here and remove the block in the center now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and attach a lever over here and then go ahead and keep a torch over there and a repeater facing that side once you add these three items you will see that the redstone repeater will switch on and now all you gotta do is place this redstone over there and there you have your ticking system now you can just go ahead and switch that off this will be how the entire farm is going to be controlled off now from here you want to go ahead and lay one two three blocks and three redstone dust on top and now you want to go ahead and grab two sticky pistons and place two right over here you just need two sticky pistons over here now you're gonna grab some sand and then go ahead and place sand exactly on top of the piston right over there just like that place two blocks in front of the piston and two sand blocks right there now this is exactly what you want over here now you're gonna go ahead and go to the side over here and you're gonna place a block right on about the repeater and you're gonna go ahead and build one two three and let's go ahead and make an arc all the way down right over there and this is exactly where we're gonna lay our kelp so we're gonna empty these two over here instead we're gonna come on the back and then make the same arc over here there you go once you have that ready we're gonna go ahead and do some more redstone part at the back of the farm now what you want to do is you want to lay two blocks over here and then go ahead and grab your normal piston place two normal piston exactly over there now once you have this setup we're gonna go ahead and transfer the redstone onto the top to this piston as well now for that you want to place two blocks right over there a redstone torch that will switch off once you place it another block another redstone dust over there and two more blocks over here which we can bring this to the front now you can see the pistons activated now we're going to remove block over there and then go ahead and lay some more redstone now the reason we have redstone over here is because we're going to have some trap door over here that we're going to close and the redstone needs to go to the trap door as well now for this you just need to keep a block right here the redstone will be activated to the trap doors now of course you can go ahead and extend this in the front and then just go ahead and make another arc right over here simply exactly just like this now once you have this ready any kelp that is harvested from here will fall to the front over here so you want to keep two hoppers facing to the right right over there and then what you're going to do is you want to remove this block over here remove that block over here and then face down another hopper that goes down over here you can go ahead and remove these two blocks as well now we're going to go ahead and grab some glass panes and lay four glass panes exactly just like this make sure you use glass panes and not glass blocks now you're gonna go ahead and come up over here and this is where we're gonna lay some water and kelp and activate the entire farm so you're gonna go ahead and place water on the trap door exactly like that and then go ahead and go down over here and once you stand on the piston you're gonna place one on the sand block there and another one right over there once you've placed that you can go ahead and place your kelp over here there you go now your kelp farm is completely ready when you switch this on you will have kelp running in every single second now of course you can go ahead and extend this as much as you like if you want to increase the bone meal farm to very 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 fast now the next thing is we're going to go ahead and transfer all the kelp to this composter right over here and then we're going to keep a temporary block right over there and then transfer this to bone meal over here and bam you can go ahead and lay your double chest right over here and this will be your bone meal farm now as you can see i'll switch this on right over here and we have unlimited bone meal farm ready as you can see we keep getting kelp coming in every single second and now the kelp gets transformed into the composter and gets it into bone meal exactly over here there you go we just got one bone meal right there now of course if this bone meal farm is quite slow for you all you gotta do is extend the entire farm towards this side Now to extend this first you will have to go ahead and extend this redstone all the way across let's say we're just gonna add maybe a little bit like three more or something and we're gonna extend this redstone all the way across and then add some more sticky pistons you got a sticky piston exactly like that and the next part is the sand add some blocks add some sand add some more sand over here of course the hoppers will all be going towards the right now let's go ahead and place pistons right here once you have your pistons ready you're going to extend this over here and you're going to go ahead and place and the same redstone layer one over here one over here 
one over there and your redstone right there now you have all the redstone connected perfectly as you can see just another check right over here now let's just close the top up and of course you also need redstone for the trapdoors as well so that is exactly what we're gonna do right over here and there you go redstone for the trapdoors now let's add the trapdoors and open it up make sure you open it up it's very very important now once you have that ready you're gonna go ahead and place the blocks right here and you can just go ahead and close your farm add water on the trapdoors alone of course now once you have all the water on the trapdoor you're gonna come down over here into the piston and add water on the sand layer alone once you've added it on the sand layer just add your kelp and you are done with your fastest bone meal farm now once you've done that of course you have increased the number of kelp that you have but then it's still not going to be fast enough because it's because of the composter speed now if you want to make this the fastest farm all you gotta do is you'll have to remove these hoppers right here and you will have to go ahead and make them face it towards the front and now i'm gonna add these hoppers to the front they need to be facing to the front once you have these hoppers facing towards the front you can definitely go ahead and remove this this and these over here all you gotta do is go ahead and add your composters for every single hopper that you have right below over here and then of course Perfect. hopper and ultimately all the hoppers ending to this chest now only this will go ahead and increase the speed of the farm as you can see if I go ahead and switch this farm on you're gonna see a faster way of getting bone meal which you will see in just a second now in just with the time of one you get four five and yeah you get one two three four five now of course this is five times faster compared to the time consumed for the kelp to convert into bone meal you can obviously go ahead and keep doing more unless you extend and go outside the chunk border this farm will not work so you need to be staying inside the chunk maybe you can go ahead and make a circle or something it's completely up to you almost very fastly five times faster and that is your unlimited bone meal farm this is the best way you could get a lot of bone meal in a very short period of time Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my Minecraft survival episodes as well. I build all my farms in my survival episodes. Make sure to check it out. Link in description or in the end screen.